Michael Saul with the stock market trading watch list for Wednesday, August 3rd, 2011. Market got cracked on Tuesday. So let's take a look at some of the usual suspects. And I want to wait to see a better setup before I'm looking at exact setups here. But we can get a general feel on some and map out support and resistance, etc. So... Let's look. RIM, another new low. Still watching that 2372 to 2378 area. Went to as low as 2410. Google started to pull in. Watch the 20 EMA for potential support here. Okay, we have the low from the gap. That comes at 588.16. And then we have the 20 EMA down here at 582.63. Here's Baidu. Okay, watch that 20 EMA for potential support. Here's Apple. All right, down seven and a quarter points. I mean, that's a pretty nice sharp move for Apple here, but still just sitting up here and, uh, you know, the new high territories, but uh, new high territory, sorry. Uh, but watch this potential head and shoulders here. I mean, it would be a small one, so the target wouldn't be uh, that deep, but... Watch the 20 EMA, which is also now lining up with the gap fill as potential support. Goldman, okay, so those moving averages didn't hold. Now down below here, let's get a Fibonacci grid. And we could run it, and we could look for support. 130.76, 128.44. Let's look at GLD. Okay, there it goes. Now this one is actually, uh, this one is actually above this one's 162 percent external retracement here so uh the next level to watch let's format center list price 171.28 wow another 10 points to the 262 percent external retracement so let's see if it could get there of course it has to hold this break in since it was a gap uh, it may decide it wants to retrace part of that but it was a pretty nice move with some nice volume and of course this is just the uh, gold spider SLV. All right, try and held the 20 EMA. Didn't really test it, but came into that area. Uh, obviously, lagging gold with a GLD, which is at new highs, and SLV, uh, which you know, definitely fell sharper than GLD. It's kind of sitting here waiting uh, for its next move on that one. Let's look at PCLN. Okay, PCLN tried to go higher out of this flag and uh, just failed. So watch the 50-day moving average, which also lines up with this low down here at 510.16. Netflix, whoops, I put in the wrong letter there. Okay, so Netflix, watch it. I actually you know, have this 89 EMA that may come into play for potential support, but if it loses that, Watch 251.46 for the next level of support. Sorry if I sound tired. I am absolutely exhausted. I was up at 6 o'clock in the morning and uh, only on three hours sleep. Is, uh, I'm currently in the middle of a, a big project with a couple of friends. So I will not be trading once again on Wednesday. I have to leave right at the open, which uh, sucks because I think it could be a nice tradable day on Wednesday but watch some of these levels I went over uh, in the video and uh, look I don't use these levels as absolute okay we're at the 20 EMA time to buy okay we're rallying into resistance it's time to sell I use those levels and then I dial down to a lower time frame and look for patterns to um, set up trades against so at least I could lean against support or resistance and then if it breaks those levels I know I'm wrong all right, so more on that to come. Um, I'll talk more about that, but uh, for now, just keep that in mind that the levels are really not absolute levels of support and resistance, okay? They're just reference areas. Still have to have a confirming pattern. Have a great trading day on Wednesday. I will talk to everybody again on Thursday.